Nervous. The nose, nose. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. You're gonna be on YouTube, yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings fellow travelers on the road of life. I would like to apologize first of all for taking so long to post this. Had a couple of things go on, but everything is going extremely well. Um, as you saw from the beginning of this video, this very precious dog who is the child of my friends who I went and had pizza with the other night, um, got to enjoy her, which was good. That was a good way to wrap out my very first week as a non-smoker and the seventh day, which was Friday, Friday, um, actually went extremely well. Uh, so, so far as far as the quitting smoking thing has gone, everything is wonderful and I couldn't ask for any better results. Uh, that really, one of the things that I did want to do today though is give a few observations about what works for me in quitting and hopefully this will help you if you're trying to quit or if you know somebody that is trying to now the first most important thing that I did was I actually set a date to quit. Now instead of just arbitrarily deciding to quit one day and waking up and having no mental preparation for that, I made sure that there was a time, that there was a date, and that that would be it for me. And it may be that that's not necessary when you quit another way uh, other than cold turkey but at least for cold turkey that worked for me a lot. Uh, the second thing that really helped was the fact that I replaced my addiction. Now, I started walking initially. I'll admit I have not walked as much as I should, but ironically, the one addiction that really came out of this so far has been vlogging, and I've really enjoyed this time on YouTube. And every single time I think about smoking, one of the things I think about is, you know, how could I go back to my viewers and say, hey, I, I smoked, I gave up, because um, then that will kind of defeat the purpose of the whole self-improvement vlog. So, uh, may not work for everybody, but it certainly did help me quite a bit. And the third thing that really helped me with smoking, uh, quitting smoking, was definitely getting moral support from those around me. Um, things that you don't see here on YouTube. For instance, I've been posting my progress a lot on Facebook, where a lot of my friends from college are, a lot of my personal friends, and they've really sent me a lot of words of encouragement. For that, I'm very grateful, and it really has helped me a lot along the way. So with all that being said and done, I do wanna move on to the major point that I wanted to cover, and that is what I'm planning on doing with this vlog in the future. Of course, now that I've quit smoking, I am going to start the process of losing weight. Now, in order to do that, um, there are a couple things that I want to accomplish. Uh, the first thing, of course, is exercise. Now, there's lots of forms of exercise you can do. You can walk, jog, run, go to the gym, whatever works for you. And when I was looking at different forms of exercise and what had the greatest benefit in as far as calories burned, uh, one of those things was running. And I don't suggest that for everybody, but for me personally, running is something that I've always wanted to do. So I know that it's not something I'm gonna be able to do overnight. It's something that I'm going to have to condition myself to do. But once I get to that point, I would like to be able to run uh, one to two hours per day, which may s seem like a lot, but on average, if you're running two hours a day, you're burning somewhere along the lines of 6,000 calories which is a tremendous amount of calories. Um, since I'm gonna be exercising so, so intensely, and one of the reasons I want to, is because one of the major problems I've ever had with dieting is that I eat a lot of food. It's something that I enjoy. And the very basic thing that you need to lose weight is that you need to burn more calories than you're taking in doesn't matter what diet you're on, doesn't matter whether you're doing a complete lifestyle change or whether you're doing Adkins or, or whatever you want to try, that is how you lose weight. Burn more calories than you're taking in. That's the only way to lose weight. 
So I figure if I can get myself up to that point, um, if I can be physically fit enough, um, it, it'll have a couple of effects. Number one, I don't think it's possible for me to eat that many calories a day. And uh, number two, the more you exercise, the more it suppresses your hunger. So eventually it will work itself out. Um, now, as far as eating is concerned, <clears throat> one of the reasons that I've had trouble losing weight in the past is because I've always gone on a diet. And it's usually some sort of a crash diet. And that's not what you need to do to lose weight. What you need to do is you need to make actual permanent lifestyle changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start drinking only water. Now, right now, I drink Diet Pepsi. Diet Pepsi is fine for you. But one of the things is that it contains sodium. Sodium makes you retain water fluid, which is counterproductive to you losing weight. And while it has no calories and it has no fat, water has the ability to flush fat and impurities from your body. So it's very beneficial in not only losing weight, but in maintaining a healthy lifestyle in general. Uh, the other things that I'm going to do, I'm going to stop eating carbohydrates after 3 p.m. This is not a low carb diet like Dr. Atkins per se, but the later in the evening it gets to be, the harder it is for your body to metabolize certain complex sugars and the more chance there is of those turning into fat. So stopping carbohydrate intake at 3 p.m. will do a lot in as far as creating a much more healthier dietary plan for me. Uh, number two, until I have reached my goal weight, I am going to stop eating sweets. This includes candy, this includes cake, this includes anything like that. The only exception will be special occasions. And when I say special occasions, I don't mean once a week, once a month. I truly mean a special occasion. Um, other than that, I'm going to try to cut out unnecessary fat. For instance, if I'm having a sandwich instead of having mayonnaise, I'm going to have mustard. Um, if I have a choice between a hamburger and a turkey burger, I'm going to have the turkey burger. So these are just lifestyle changes. It's not a diet. It's basically changing the way that I eat and the way that I approach food for the long term so that I can see the effects of, of the exercise, of the decreased fat intake, um, of the decreased carbohydrate intake after 3 p.m. and uh, it will eventually culminate to not only help me lose weight but also to make me a healthier person and to keep me skinny for the long term. Um, so that's basically that. My goal weight right now is 215 pounds. Now I am 6 foot 5. The healthy weight range is I believe 1 75 or 180 to 215. So 215 is at the very top of where I need to be. But considering that I have been overweight my entire adult life, I know that getting to that point will be a huge improvement for me. It, it will still be a healthy weight. And, is, and if I get to that point and I see that I want to lose more or I think I would look better a few pounds less, I'll work on that then. But right now my permanent goal is to get down to 215 because I want to be as realistic as possible. Now I weigh 330 pounds now so that means that that's 115 pounds that I have to lose. So this should be fun. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, that, so that's basically it as far as losing weight and exercising is concerned. <clears throat>